the national political debate is consumed with allegations of collusion with a foreign government, playing dirty in the election and giving preferential treatment to family and friends. Familiar charges, no doubt, but there is a twist. In each of these cases, President Trump and his allies are making the accusations, and their target is Hillary Clinton, the Democrat vanquished in a presidential contest held nearly nine months ago. For many Republicans, the 2016 election is still alive and well, a go to counterargument as Trump's agenda bogs down and questions multiply around the Trump campaign's possible improper contacts with Russian officials. The latest example came Monday night when Trump, in an address to a Boy Scouts jamboree in West Virginia, chided Clinton for not working hard enough in key Midwestern states that unexpectedly turned red on election night. Do you remember that incredible night with the maps? Trump asked the scouts earlier in the day. Taking to Twitter, Trump asked why investigators and his beleaguered attorney general, Jeff Sessions, aren't looking into crooked Hillary's crimes. Pronouncements and on social media, the president and his allies, including the Republican National Committee, are arguing, often with scant evidence, that Trump's former rival engaged in similar, if not worse, behavior. The mere mention of Clinton, who remains a reviled figure among Trump's core supporters, also serves as a reminder of how much worse they think things would be if she were in the Oval Office. Republicans are in full control of government but losing control of their party. This certainly seems to be a preoccupation, and as far as I can tell, it's unprecedented, said Doug High, a Republican consultant and former RNC communications director. Trump, in many respects, has never stopped reliving last year's election. He still makes frequent references to his triumph over Clinton, even in official White House speeches. In an interview last week with New York Times reporters, he quickly mentioned Clinton's failure while first lady to help pass a comprehensive health care bill. From the podium of the White House briefing room, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, recently promoted from deputy press secretary to press secretary, has also tried to shift the focus to Clinton. Look, I think if you want to talk about having relationships with Russia, I'd look no further than the Clintons, she said, citing a speech former President Bill Clinton had given to a Russian bank, among other things. More recently, the RNC has started making a habit of focusing on Clinton in research memos distributed to reporters, White House and Capitol Hill staffers, GOP party leaders and other Washington insiders.